When you're playing blues, you want to be sure that you know what notes sound in the style to land on, specifically a jazz blues. What you see a lot of the time is that people practice playing arpeggios and blues scales and are indiscriminately landing on notes that really don't sound like they have a lot of impact. There's a great, great song called Fine and Mellow, I believe, by Billie Holiday. You can YouTube it. And just listen to the melody of that song. I'll play it real quick. It sounds something like this. Now, what were those notes on the chords? Let's just analyze it for a second. The whole structure of the song is just a 12 bar blues and E flat. Let's go over the harmony. It goes from the one chord to the four chord, A flat, to the one chord E flat, stays here. A flat, stays on the A flat, back to the one chord, two, three flat three so just that little thing that's one major two minor three minor flat three minor and then just goes two five one so it's a jazz blues in a way it has a turnaround has a two five one but it's a pretty simple one but here is where it gets interesting the notes billy is singing what are they they're not in your pentatonic scale. She goes on that one chord. What is that? Two, sharp two, two, sharp two. Then it goes to the four chord. He treats me oh so mean. So on that four, it's hitting the root, fifth, sixth, flatted seventh, and then it changes back to the one chord and she lands on its six. Now, this should be the aha moment, twos and sixes. That's the secret on all of jazz, playing the tensions. It's sort of expanding on the subject melodically. You don't want to land on arpeggio notes all the time. They're the weakest points melodically. You want to build melodic tension by using available tensions where you can. And those notes have all the color. Let's check out the melody again. So two sharp, two, two. Stopping on the sixth of the one chord. Then it goes to the four chord. Do, do, de, do. What's that note on the A flat? It's, it, it's the six. The two of the one chord is the six of the four chord. She resolves to the fifth, which is fine. Then there's that walk down. And when she gets to that two minor chord, the melody goes. What is that? Do, 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 we, ah. That goes fifth, 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 two. The two of the two chord. So something to keep in mind. Let's say somebody tells you to play a blues in A. You probably have your go-to areas, right? Let's just talk about blues box one. People's playing is too root heavy. Locate the two, the second degree of the scale. If you're in A, it's the note B. The six is the note F sharp. Let's just think about the first line of the blues. A, moving to D7, back to A. I'm going to really try to make something melodic happen around the two, and then I'll keep that note because it's the six of the four chord. So I'm gonna go. Now what did I do? I played a kind of arpeggio on the A and landed on its second degree. 
and then on the four chord to enter bum 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 i played an approach note leading to that six chord if you think about it from the perspective of the four it's like five flat six six so And then on the way down, I play that passing tone between the third and the second, an octave below. And that's a lot of the sound. Maybe I'm gonna move to the nine of that four chord. Maybe the nine of the five chord. The nine of the four. The nine of the root. So there are a lot of hidden colors inside your diatonic scales if you really take your time to listen to melodies, listen to these jazz melodies and see where is Frank Sinatra hitting in the scale? Where is Billie Holiday hitting on the chords? Are you just listening to him and taking it for granted? Or are you actually doing the research, doing the analysis to understand how you could integrate those sounds into your own playing? Hope you dig this lesson. There are many more. Join our Patreon, join our channel, click all the buttons, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.